Well, the passion of the Lord Julius Christ, that was assassinated on 15 of March, and then resurrected later. Uh, but anyway, the passion it was called De Sanguinis, which is Good Friday. We're going to celebrate this Friday, okay? The Catholic Church. And then the Jews, actually, which had adopted all this religion of the Roman Empire and everything else, they, they observed that uh, decades later and centuries later, they observed it as Passover. When the angel is supposed to go over, you have to, the righteous apostle in the era of the Pharaoh, never happened in the Pharaoh time. It was a, a, a substitute for what happened to Julius Caesar that was immolated. With the, in other words, the angel is supposed to pass over the, the house of the Jews that uh, they, they, press, they put all the, uh, the, the lamb's blood in it. Well, guess what? Jesus Christ is a lamb, isn't it? Well, sacrifice, Julius Caesar was sacrificed with blood, and they have blood in his head, and all that, and, you know, the ceremonies of the Tarabolian. So Julius Caesar was sacred. So that's what they did. And they adopted also the star of David, which is after the star of Caesar. And uh, 400 years later, uh, the, the Muslims, which are actually come from, uh, from the Arabs and with the same tradition of supposedly the Bible and Talmud. No, the, the Quran, the same from, uh, from the, uh, the, the religion of Augustus, uh, of the Lord and Savior Augustus, the true, the Lord of Peace, the Prince of Peace. That's where everything comes from. The interesting about it is that in those days when Julius Caesar was killed, he, act, he, he fought in Gaul. He conquered the, the Gauls. That's where the Sea of Galilee comes from. It's no such a thing as the Sea of Galilee in ancient times. Zero. They call it the, the, the Lake of Tiberias of the Emperor of Tiberias. Uh, but now they oh Gaul. Bullshit. A uh, fisher of men? Bullshit. Julius Caesar came around. He was, he was actually converting people to be Romans. He did that to all the, the barbarians, the so-called barbarians. And they made him senators in Rome. And he forgave the sins. So those amazing men. Uh, the unclean spirits. So it's, it's all allegories and changes that will actually change. So the passion of Christ uh, is from the passion of Julius Caesar. Everything came around. Even the guy that stabbed him, you know, the stab Julius Caesar, uh, Cassius Longinus, is also the same in the Acts of Peter. is is the same uh, uh, that, uh, that stabbed uh, Christ at the cross. French archaeologists working in Egypt uncovered an ancient Christian tomb with an extraordinary treasure. It was a book called The Gospel of Peter. By Simon Peter, the hand-picked leader of the apostles, a very different version of the life of Jesus. But an alternative story, pathetic. It says Jesus suffered no pain on the cross. See? Because it was not a cross, it was a drop by elves. The Gospel of Peter claims to reveal an eyewitness account of the resurrection itself. You know what Simon Peter was? <laughs> that never existed, nobody can find. It was actually Mark Antony. That was a priest of Caesar. And he actually, when, when Caesar was killed, he actually denied him because he, he, he was hiding. Because uh, the killers were going to kill him too. There were many Gospels, or good news, Evangelium, that uh, originated from the, uh, the, uh, uh, the cult of, uh, of the religion of Divus Julius, Julius Caesar and his passion. And that happened, uh, the, uh, the God all happened like 400 years later. One of them, of course, was, and they were not many were not included in the, in, the, in the Bible that we see today, uh, which is ordered by Constantine to be written in about 325, 380, something like that. But uh, these are the results. Uh, you know, there are many, many stories that were not, that I discovered recently. Here is a Rome, invisible Roman god inside in a tropaeum with a tree of life. Here is a palm tree with another tropaeum and Victoria. Here is Caesar, a tropaeum. And also here is uh, Caesar being crowned by Augusta with the comet. And look at this, uh, a cross on a shield. During the funeral of the uh, sacrifice, uh, God and Savior Caesar, uh, his wax image was put in a tropaeum that rotated around, also called a mechanic. And his, what his body was going to be cremated. And Mark Antony was his priest, the, uh, the Flamen Dive, Dive Julius. And he was actually showing the, the stab wounds and everything. And, you know, people were really upset. And this was all over the empire. And later on, Augustus would uh, start building temples after he became uh, the son of, of God uh, in 31 uh, uh, BC after the Battle of Actium. And then uh, uh, eventually the, uh, the Catholic Church would mutate, thanks to Constantine. 
uh, you would take uh, the whole thing into uh, uh, Good Fr Holy Week and Easter. Uh, the whole thing was changed through the Council of, of the Church. But uh, that's what we have today, a, comp a convoluted story that has changed over time. So we have today Good Friday and, and uh, the Resurrection, which is, uh, used to be called the Hilaria, on a Sunday, the Resurrection of, uh, of, uh, of the God. So the passion of, of Julius Caesar, the Lord and Savior, mutated into the passion of Christ and the subsequent fairy tales. It takes thousands of years to make a people believe in a stupid lie. Look at this, the Council of the Church. They completely corrected everything and uh, mutated everything. And today we have this uh, Christian nonsense. Everything evolves with time. And the Council of the Church did an excellent job. It is despicable. There is no morality in Christianity. Believing in those tales today is a form of mental illness and retardation. There is, Christianity is the greatest lie ever told. Let's remember that. Perverting the kids is uh, disgusting. This is exactly the main reason that many of the uh, Roman records have been destroyed. Because uh, it was actually Augusta, they won no competition. And then he died, and then the, all the, uh, the, uh, it was the cult of the emperor, the divine cult of the religion. And when you say pagan, you know what pagan means? It, it comes from paganos, tribal, little myth, and uh, little uh, thing. So actually, when somebody, the Catholic Church will change that later to mean, oh, pagan thing, really. No, it was religion. Christianity, which is nothing, is a copy of the Roman uh, state religion. Uh, uh, when you say pagan, means uh, the little beliefs of the tribes and plebeian and stupid and retarded. It's not an organized religion like the Roman religion. So they switch everything around. But the one that started the whole thing was Augustus. And interesting about the day of Julius Caesar's sacrifice, uh, when he was uh, actually killed, they call it the De Sanguinis, the day of blood. And he was considered with the gods and these processions and all that stuff. And people celebrated that, they observed that. And the resurrection of, of Julius Caesar as a Christus, uh, representing his comet, which happened three days later on a Sunday. So that's where Easter comes from. So everything is mutated. And the interesting about it that Augustus has started it, and then in 325, the whole thing becoming intolerant, intolerant, the, 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 everything started in one religion, the religion of, of the Christus, uh, of Augustus, and then they have all the different sects that fought. And then um, in 325, see, that's when uh, Constantine, that was considered a god too, he, he had the Roman religion and all those so-called pagan nowadays, all this stuff that he had, uh, he converted bullshit, baptism. Bullshit. There's no actual evidence. It's all a distortion by the Catholic Church. And then, uh, in 325, then the Catholic Church emerged. And it began to start burning the books and start becoming completely controlling everything and their own thing and, and switching everything with language and everything. That's what uh, the whole thing would eventually with the councils of the Church. There were many, many of them. Uh, there you have the mother of uh, of. Uh, of, of God and the angels and the Nike and the different gods with the mythology of the Roman mythology. That's what the saints of the church and the incense and the ceremonies and all that when you start and starting to continue, continue, continue. They start killing everybody else. I didn't agree with them. And uh, the crusades, uh, this, all that stuff happened. And then the, the source will change. Because in the Roman times, here's a gladius. You don't see a ship of a cross in here. When you have a cross in there, that was started by the Christians by the crusaders that actually, and Charlemagne, that considered that was a, the symbol of defending the Christendom with the symbol of the cross. A crusader will have to die with the cross, otherwise he will go to hell. So, I mean, if you kill a Jew or anybody that doesn't believe it, you're great because you, 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 you baptize your soul with the blood of the infidel. So, that's the way it started. So, Holy Week is, in my view, naughty, psychotic week. The Christian church, where I call Christ psychotics because they're retarded and deluded because they're stuck in the Middle Ages. Uh, they've been lying to everybody. They're deceitful people. They're psychotic. And they manipulate and control the mind of the people and they control the parents and the parents infect their children and so forth and so forth and so on. Generations are infected. There's a reason in the United States you have 82% of people that believe in this nonsense of Christian crap, which is nonsense. It's, it's a delusion. Uh, and if you go with historical facts and they read and learn, then they realize that what I'm saying is absolutely true. I have the evidence. You can see it in coins. Yeah, so there it is. In Pachadiorum.